Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer, the host of Best of Us Investors. And I did a video yesterday uh, where I shared my opinion and other people's opinion that the genome sequencing, genome editing uh, industry, the health cure industry, is going to grow to be an 11 to 22 trillion dollar industry, which would put it on par with the digital economy, the digital industry. And I shared that uh, roughly 11 trillion of that 22 trillion in the digital industry is captured by six stocks, Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and NVIDIA. And that I was then seeking to find the players um, the, the Steve Jobs, the, the Jeff Bezos, the Sergey Breams of the digital industry within the, um, the, the, the genome sequencing, the health cure industry. And, and I shared with you who I thought they were and why I thought they were. And then I shared with you the decision that, um, that um, the, the, the patent rights belonged to Mr. Zhang and not um, Miss Doudna and, and Miss Carpentier. So I went through the logic, and then I put together this chart I put in front of you and said, okay, based on what I know and, and what I believe, these are the main players, and these are the stocks, and this is what I am then projecting their share of this 11 to $22 trillion industry is going to be in the future. I didn't put a time frame on it. I would say it's, I think it's within 10 to, or five to 10 years. And, and I got some, some kickback that basically said, Carrie, how are you assigning these numbers? How are you coming up with these numbers? as a growth factor. And that's what I want to talk about in this video as to what my logic was. And I want to share it with you because quite honestly, I've never done anything quite like this before. I, and, and I want your input and I want to invite you to become a part of my group that we, over the next five to 10 years, that we put extraordinary effort into analyzing this and making sure we're right when the font numbers actually do fall into place. And I think that's that's the value of of what we've got going here on the internet is that we we now have the ability to work together as opposed to being slaves of Wall Street and taking their information and their short, short term game and trying to compete with them. So that's what this video is all about. It's certainly not financial advice. It's my sharing of my knowledge and my asking of you to share your knowledge and your skills to make us all better investors. Be right back with you. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, let's look at this chart that I had created on Excel, and, and I've expanded upon it to, to give it some more clarity to answer the question, Carrie, how did you arrive at these numbers? Uh, you're going to notice on the uh, far, I guess from your, your view, uh, the far left side, I've put what I called the market cap of 2000 on my big six, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google, uh, Meta, and NVIDIA. And, and I've said, okay, um, how, based on their market cap of 2000 and their market cap of 2022, what is their X factor? And you can see that Amazon... Uh, had grow, has grown from 2000 at an X factor of 466. Now, you, you, you must understand, in 2000, um, Amazon was not making any money, which is directly parallel to the 14 stocks I have listed down there. So I think that is a good representation. And I, I think the, the 
mental process that I went through was in 2000, did I know about Amazon Web Services? No, I did not. Uh, do, did I know that that element of their business would represent 80% of their uh, profits? No, I did not. Did I recognize that Amazon's at biggest asset is not their book library and their, their distribution centers, but their big data source that they have gained and that they use to generate profits? No, I did not. And what I want to say is, this is true in genome therapy and genome editing. I don't have a clue as to what the future in that is going to be. What I know is, as I make a comparison to Amazon and the genome industry, that the importance to humanity relative to Amazon and genome therapy is non-comparable. I mean, it, the fact that I can buy a, a book and have it delivered to my doorstep within 48 hours is has nothing to do or no comparison to the fact that maybe Editus could take cancer out of my body. Maybe CRISPR could take Alzheimer's out of my body. Maybe Intella could take cancer out of my bloodstream and my my children's and my grandchildren's and my great grandchildren's bloodstream. The comparison is is it it it's not even in the same ballpark. So when I say that I look and I see that Amazon has grown at a 466 X factor, that's that says to me that if somebody can change the disease in my body, it's much more important than 466X. Then I dropped down. One of them that really kind of puzzled me was um, that of uh, Google. Google actually was not profitable. Uh, they weren't a listed company. They, they had profits of, um, what was it? Uh, I think it was something like 200000 Dollars. They had revenues of two hundred thousand dollars in two thousand, and so I said, "Let's put a fifty x value on them of their revenues because that that is really relevant to where a lot of these genome stocks are at. They're generating some revenues, but most of the revenues are coming from inputs from pharmaceutical companies who want future collaborations with them. They're not making money, as Google was not making money in, in 2000. And, and you can see their X factor, if we give a value of a, a 11, what would that be, thousand million, billion dollars, they've grown at 1,000 172,727 times. So my factors over here relative to my uh, genome stocks are, are extremely small. And I would ask you again, the value contributed to our society, to our civilization from Google, who provides me with a search engine that I can ask my phone just about anything and it'll give me an answer. It has totally eliminated my trips to the library. It's totally eliminated a lot of my subscriptions to magazines. And all they really do is make knowledge convenient for me and then take the data that I input from my searches and use it to sell advertising. So that's their contri contribution to society. Compare that to one of these 14 stocks I have here who can genome who can sequence my genome that is take the spit out of my mouth and put it in a centrifuge or something I don't know and come back and say Carrie you have a 80% propensity for cancer 
and and you have a 50% propensity for Alzheimer's. And it's it's in your body at this place. And these com- this company called Caribou has a therapy that can go in and take that out of your genome and eliminate the potential that you get Alzheimer's or cancer. How does that compare in value added to Google's ability to help me with buying products or Amazon's ability to deliver that product to me within 24 hours? What is the comparison there? What is the value added? I don't think it I don't think it plays out. Now, the other thing that I, I, I look at this and I say, what's the biggest effect that's going to take effect in our world in the next five, 10 years? Well, it's artificial intelligence. It's the ability to take the power of my mind and, and, and multiply it by billions. By taking the power of my mind and combining it with your mind and, and 12 billion other people's minds and making better decisions. So I ask you if, if that is what's going to drive the future, is it more important in the workings of my electric vehicle, which I pretty much know how it, because I build that, or is it more important using that artificial intelligence to figure out how my body works and to take cancer out of my body and Alzheimer's and heart disease. Where is the value added there? What is, where is the benefit of artificial intelligence? Our, our, our good friend Vladimir Putin said in 2017, standing before a graduating class of college students, Vladimir said this, he who controls artificial intelligence will rule the world. So whatever Vladimir's pluses and minuses are, I think he hit it on that one. So if in fact that is where the future is going, where will it give the greatest value back to civilization? In getting me my books faster or my my pet print my printer ink faster or taking disease out of my body. So if in fact I I believe in all that, where do I want to invest? I don't think there's any real question here. Where's the biggest opportunity for me, Carrie Grinkmeyer, who sits in Birmingham, Alabama, who has some money that he wants to lay on the table and bet as to who's going to make the biggest change in my life. Is it Tesla? I don't think so. Is it Editus? I'm willing to bet on that. Is it CRISPR? Is it Illumina? Is it Pacific Bioscience? Is it Nutella? I'm willing to bet on that, and, and, but I need help. I'm one guy. I'm one guy, a 77-year-old man who's, who's read this book. That, first of all, gives me a, a big advantage because most of the world doesn't even know that book exists, and most of the world doesn't even know that what genome editing is or genome therapy. They, they have no clue. So I have an advantage, but I want a bigger advantage. I want your help. As I said, I'm just one dude um, doing his part. But I'm, I'm telling you, there's gold in those hills. Come with me. Come with me and join my tribe and help me decipher, do I have the right 14 companies here? Or have I missed it? And if you didn't get this, get this chart, go to yesterday's video and there's a link to get you a copy of this chart, okay? So I'm basically saying I've done the front work. I've laid the path. I've been spending uh, the last 18 months on this. I've taken a bath on it. 
much as if I had bought Amazon in 19... Uh, 98, and it gone to $75 a share, and then in 2000, it came down to $7.50. That's exactly where I'm at on these 14 stocks. I, I, I just got in too early. I, I, if you haven't, I envy you, okay? So, if you want to be part of this, and if you want to make a major difference in your life, because I personally, I just do not understand if after what I just explained to you, you can say, no, I'm better off in Tesla and Neo and, and Workhorse and, and Kodak and AMC and GameStop. I'm better off there. I don't give a damn about taking cancer out of your body or that's that's child's play electric vehicles there's where you want to be show me a established vehicle company that makes any money please show me on the other hand how much are you willing to pay and even more importantly than how much is your insurance company willing to pay that they don't have to pay the $500,000 bill that you will run up two weeks in the hospital fighting cancer and ending up dying from. And 1,632 people here in the United States die every day from cancer. The number of, for that for our heart disease is even bigger. The number of people who are living in la-la land today because of Alzheimer's is even bigger. And the cost is astronomical. Does it have any relevance to the cost of an electric vehicle? No. You could buy 100 electric vehicles for what it costs to fight cancer for 20 years and then die from it. So where's the opportunity? Where do you want to invest? Do you have the patience to wait it out? Do you have the fortitude? Do you have the commitment to learn it? Do you have the commitment to read even one book to learn about this opportunity? If you don't, you deserve what you get. All right. If you want to be a part of this, you know how to go there bestofusinvestors.com. Give me your email address and your name and I'll invite you to my club, my tribe, where we're all going to get filthy, dirty, rich. 